Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in lovely San Diego, California, where the sun's trying to peek through. It's been a little crisp out today, but I am taking my chance that spring is really here. I went out and I've spent the last several days digging up my vegetable garden and digging in some new dirt. And today I planted some plants. So if it really does end up not being spring, that would not be a good thing. So I'm hoping that it's truly spring here and that it wants to, to stay that way. Okay, it looks like I am live, so that's a good thing. All right, so today we are going to be making a card with our hot air balloon set. Um, I'm doing a class this weekend with that. If anybody wants to join the class a little late, I could probably squeeze in one more person. Uh, if you want me to send you the class, I can order the, the stuff for that and, and let you know about that. So what's new in Stampin' Up? The most exciting thing is tomorrow we get to buy for our customers um, all of these new online exclusives. And I think there's like tw somewhere between 20 and 30 online exclusives. So tomorrow you may want to go straight on and, and take a look at them. I've shown you a whole bunch of Zinnia cards. Let me see, do I still have them here? Yes. Um, I'll show them to you again because they are so lovely. I just think, I think this is a really happy, happy set. Um, the papers are gorgeous. This is the embossing folder that I embossed onto white and then colored in. These are the dies that make these beautiful zinnias. You see this paper back here? The paper is just all of these leaves and stems and then... I added in the dies. And this is the um, embossing folder. Oops, I got two of them here. And I put ink on it and then embossed it. And the reason they look different is because I put ink on the two different sides. And then I think it was week before last. I don't know, I think, it, oh, I do have cards here. Um, we talked about the, the latte. Um, and then there's that other one that goes with the, the ladies, something about being friends. But the the um, the latte set, and it has all these really cool coffee-related uh, DSP. So that goes on sale tomorrow, too. And I don't know if you noticed this. Um, let me pull them back out again. This scripty kind of set there. It says that I embossed in silver. It says happy birthday with the long swirlies. There's a whole set. Oh, I have it right here. I'm surprised I can find anything here. And it's called Sweetly Scripted. And it has happy anniversary, congratulations, happy birthday, a million thanks, speedy recovery, and save the date. All on that kind of real scripty thing. So that's that's a real fun set too. And there's there's others. Hey, Doris. Hey, Gail. Glad you guys are here. Um, okay, so that's one thing that's, that's new. Um, and then the other thing is I'm having a, uh, birthday making card buffet, birthday bash buffet, I'm calling it. And that's April 23rd. So if anybody's around, we are going to be, see those boxes over my corner there. Each one of those has a a different card that's a birthday card and people are going to come and just make as many cards as they want and load up on birthday cards and I'll show you a couple sneak peeks so if you're coming and you don't want to know don't look but there's one of them using the the new Easter Lily set and there's one using one of our um it's a fun fold look at this ah gorgeous using one of our um online exclusive papers that I believe you can still get. It's not a brand new one. But today, I'm gonna turn you down and show you what we're making today. Because today we are making stuff with our hot air balloon set. Whoops, and why is it so far down? Let's move it back up. There we go. So the hot air balloon set is the stamps 
and the um, dies that make all sorts of different hot air balloons. I think I've shown you these before. And we're also going to be using this basic border die. That is a real key one. And I love this set. You can use these like um, on cards, but also they look, work really well on the envelopes just to make a little something something on the envelopes. So let me move that out of the way and show you the card because I created this interesting fun fold because I wanted to put these here and I wanted it to be able to overlap. So it goes like that, all in one piece. And I'll show you how I did that. Kind of fancy here. And then I don't know if you can see on the um, baskets here and that, that is glimmer paper. And it's actually glimmer paper that's from um, the uh, annual catalog. And I realized I hadn't even used it. It's called Soft Shimmer Specialty Paper. And it comes in, they're telling me this is bubble bath. But to me, this looks like um, Fresh Freesia. Uh, this is supposed to be, what is this supposed to be? Lost Lagoon, Berry Burst. Can you see the shimmer in it? Um, Night of Navy and Pretty Peacock. So as you can tell, I've hardly used any of it. Um, and I think I just, I bought it because, I don't know, I'm a, I like anything shiny, glimmery, glittery. And then I kind of, I think I forgot about it. But um, I'm glad I kind of refound it when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do today. All right, so let's go ahead and make this card. So the first thing, oh, let me get all this stuff out here. We're going to do is make the card base. So this card base, I one of the reasons I, I don't know if I invented this or not. feels like I did, so I'm going to say I did. I guess it goes that way. Um, is this is 11 by five and a half, and I scored it at four, and I scored it at eight. Now, if you look at this card compared to one of these other cards, you don't even really notice it is a quarter of an inch smaller because, like I said, I wanted to make it just with one piece of paper. So this is scored at four. And then, like I said, it's got this other score at eight that's going back on itself. And you just really want to make sure that it's going to lay down well. So I wanted to score it first. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to use our basic border die that looks like a, a cloud, a stitched cloud. And we're basically going to cut off the front like that. But you, if you send it through the uh, cut and emboss machine like this, whoops, it will cut all the way through everything. So you have to open it up. And you want to place, whoops, how do I have this dirty already? You want to place this end up on here. And you want to place this to cut all the way down like this. And how it goes through kind of depends on this has to be six inches or less. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay. You can see that. All right, so we want the end whoops, to be over here on this line. And then we want this to be all the way down here. So like I said, where this is kind of depends on what we can get. Because I wanted it to go all the way down. How did I do this before? I know what I did. I shifted this, the paper. There we go. So this has to go on the line and not over. 
and we want this all the way down at the edge and then I'm just putting a piece of washi tape to kind of hold it in place. You see that? And actually, um, and that's how you get to go all the way through the machine. Hopefully without smushing anything too much. And I'm actually not going to push it all the way through because see how that's gonna stick over and get smushed? I don't want it smushed. And that's how you do it without getting any of it smushed. that will do what I wanted it to do. Believe me, I tried this a few times before I got it to where I wanted it. Okay, so now what we have to do, see how it goes down to the edge, but only to the edge, okay? Only to the fold. Now we have to cut off this whole front part. So what I'm gonna do, is stick it in here and I'm going to put, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so see how I've got the fold in the crevice there? Actually, I think I'm gonna do it the other way. I think that'll be easier. But I've got the fold line in, right into that cutting crevice there. And then what I'm gonna do Make sure that hasn't moved. I don't know why it felt like it moved. Um, is cut right along this line from the top all the way down. Does that make sense? Are you guys following me? So we're gonna cut down here. And what I noticed before is you do feel a little give. See that? When you hit little spot. You can just kind of feel it as it goes in there or you can do what I was doing too is I was just pulling on it a little bit and now we have our card base. Isn't that cool? And this we're going to use for our our sentiment. Let's build the rest of our card first. Okay so this is some more of the hot air balloon paper as I call it, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called. It is called lighter than air paper. So that's that on one side, but we've got our cute little clouds on that side. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Liz. Hi, Marina. Got a bunch of people watching. If you didn't see me cutting that card base from the beginning, you're gonna wanna go back and check it out because that's the cool part. Now, I made this, I was gonna make it try to fill the whole thing, but that didn't quite work for me. So it's about five and a quarter by three and seven eighths because I was just having trouble getting it to fill the whole thing. Or you could probably, actually, I could probably have made that a little bit bigger, too. And then I've got the back of this, just a half inch by four inch strip, to put inside. And I'm going to use the other side of it inside. Okay. And then I've got some balloons that I cut out, again, of that lighter than air paper and our shimmer paper and we are going to glue some balloons together. Now if I was smart I would have cut this with some of that ad adhesive paper. I actually cut through this over here but we're going to glue it down and no one's going to know. But I didn't actually I got to use my most favorite thing. Is 
This is why I like glue, folks, because you can smush it over just a smidge when you're when you need that smidge time. And I think on this one I'm gonna do it the other way I like to do it. Which is I just have a piece of our I have our um oh god now I'm blanking. Somebody help me here. Our silicone mat, yay. And just a little piece of a um old sponge here and I have found to me this is one of the night easy ways to just get pick up a little here I only use this sponge on glue and then when you do this it doesn't look like you have any glue on here but truly you have a nice amount of glue whoop it's still a little slippery though because you don't need a ton of this glue, as we all know. This glue will stick on here with not a lot of ton of glue. And then we can just stick these edges in here and stick this underneath. <clears throat> the nice thing about working on the silicone mat like this is when you're done, this will dry and um, it'll just peel on off. If, we if it dries in time, I'll, I'll show you. But it's great, whoops. When you have those small detailed dyes like these and you forgot to run them through with your adhesive paper, self-adhesive paper, it works really well. All right, whoops. Get you out of the way. I just thought this was cool because it looked like these balloons are kind of soaring over the, over the clouds, in the clouds. All right, let's get some sentiments going here. So these both are, are from this set. And I'm gonna use that little, that little paper that we cut off here for our wish big. And it really doesn't matter where we put it because we are going to cut it out. There's one, and then we got an inside sentiment that says, up, up, and away, hooray, it's your birthday. So anybody coming to my class on Saturday, this is one of the cards that we're going to be, we're going to be making, because it's about our balloons. All right, now we just need to dress it up a little bit. First, we'll cut this out. There was a die for this, but, you know, that I could have probably used, but I just kind of decided I wanted to cut it out. Remember, you're, when you cut things out like this, you are moving the paper not the scissors. Why they never taught us this in school, uh, I don't know. Could have saved us a lot of, let me just cut that off, get that point back. And I tend to leave a good amount around when I first cut out and because then you can always go back and make it a little smaller if you want to. I'll put a couple dimensionals on the back here. Could have probably used some of those mini dimensionals, but I guess that works. And then I'm gonna take the um, the blue, this comes, 
with the set. It's part of the suite. And it comes in the three colors, the blue, the lemon lolly. I think this is the, um, hmm, I can't decide if it's flirty flamingo. I think it's supposed to be flirty flamingo. It's the balmy blue. And what I did is I just tied kind of a loose big bow. But you don't really see it as a bow. You see it. Has just some stuff hanging down. I think that's a little too big though. And we're just gonna put this across like that. But before we do that, what are we gonna do? I think I'm just gonna put a little glue on here to glue it down. Actually, you know, it would probably even work better as a mini glue dot, but now we got that on here. We'll just do that. And reminding you to wish big. Cut these off just a little bit. Still leave them kind of long because you do want them to kind of hang down here. And now the other thing that came with these, and like I said before, if you guys don't have these rainbow, no, rainbow adhesive bag dots, came with this suite also. Look at all the colors. I mean, it's basically all the colors that are that are in this um, paper. And what I decided to do on this one is just take one of each of these pretty blue dots and scatter those around. There's one of those. I think this is Lost Lagoon. I know this is our Azure Afternoon. Whoops, get in there. Did I not? Oops, see, sometimes this happens. It did not pick up initially the um, the sticky stuff, so I just pushed it down really hard, and then it came in there. And then this one is pool party. And maybe we'll put that one over there. But these will go with so many different um, colors that it's so wonderful to have this in our in our repertoire of, of different things. So there we go. Isn't that just a cool card? I'm just happy with myself that I thought about doing the, the little uh, clouds that way. And I'm just gonna bring this back in here and show you something. There was a bunch of glue down here and if you just go like this, cause it's dried, you can just get it up off of here and use it again, it won't be sticky. So that blob is just a little too big. It hadn't had time to dry. So here's the other card. You can see I made made the, the balloons different. So one balloon big, one balloon small. What do you guys think? I just think this is such a great set. I love the paper, I love the dots, I love these little um, baker's twine. I just think they did such a great job of, of getting this all together for us into a set which is why I'm featuring it in my, in my class this week. I'm going to put you guys up <laughs> and say I hope you've got a great day. And <laughs> thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Tammy. Um, thank you, Doris. I just really like the way that little cloud fits over there. So I hope everybody has a great week. I'll see you back next Monday. And just have a wonderful Stampin' Day. Bye.